Hi everyone, this is Annie. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Today we're going to make one of these wire wrapped quartz points with sweaty whirlies, copper wire, and just a little bit of wire wrapping magic. So if you'd like to see that, stick with me. The tools that you will need are chain nose or needle nose pliers, which are these ones. You will need some round nose pliers like these, or if you've got them, bail makers. Um, you will also need flush cutters as well. Um, I also have a wire rounding tool, but it's not essential. And in the video, I will also be straightening the wire with some nylon pliers as well. So if you'd like to learn how to wire wrap a quartz like this, then keep watching. Okay, so in my last video, um, the home bone pendant, I did a wire wrapped quartz point at the bottom and I said that that would be my next video. So we're going to wrap this aura titanium aura quartz which is in this gorgeous peachy colour. So if you can see the flashes there. Um, and I'm going to use some 0.8 millimeter copper wire. The wire that I use is non-tarnished because I really like it to stay this really nice bright copper. Um, if you had bare copper, then expect to start to see oxidizing as you're working it because the the oils, the natural oils on your skin um, will actually start to turn it and if you were to use that stuff then really you would want to put it in some liver sulfur to oxidize it or some ammonia and that is just a whole process. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gently running my fingers along the wire and this actually warms it up slightly which makes it easier um, to to mold um, and to shape as you are working. So the wire is, I usually take about 30 centimeters, I think it's a bit longer, this is um, actually a piece that was left over from another um, piece that I was doing and I don't like to waste my wire especially something so long so um, I'm just going to use this and I'm just starting by using my come on brain what are you called what are you called um wire rounder that's what it's called it's a very cool tool I wish I'd already I had always had it I've not had it for very long I don't think you're gonna be able to see very well but there's this cup here at the top and it has little burrs in it um, and it just rounds the edge so you don't have any scratches. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the swirl at the front. So you just take it with at the tip with the end of your round nose pliers. Here we go. So you've just got a little loop like this and then take either your chain nose or I've got a needle nose pliers here and we're just going to oh, tighten this end so we're just clenching there we go okay and then we're just gonna turn this into a spiral so the way that I do it is I just clench around here and we just work so that we're twisting around and you'll see that actually as we're going I'm clenching quite hard um, and what that does is this flattens can you see that there we go it just flattens the wire um, and it has the same effect of hardening as if you'd hammered it I would Hammer, I do have a hammer, but I also have a sleeping toddler in the room next door and I would quite like him to stay asleep. So I'm just going to do it this way and that just really makes that quite solid, nice and solid. And then what I did was I got to the end 
and I've just used, I've just gripped it like that and then twisted, pushed it up using my nail to create this, this bend here. Okay, so we've got our swirl at the front there. And then we're just going to take our quartz crystal and we're going to look at the side that looks kind of the nicest to work with. Um, and you need to consider the top and kind of whether you're going to want to just do a wrap at the top or if you might want a spiral. I'm thinking that a spiral might work quite well sitting in here. Um, so I'm actually going to take this side and we just post it through. I've got a bit of a bent there. Let's just straighten this out, shall we? Okay, so these are my nylon pliers and we just give the wire a bit of a bit of a straighten. I might have just put some extra kinks in the other end, but hey, hey ho. Hey ho, here we go. Let's pop that through. I'm trying very hard to stay on camera. I'm not used to working like this. <laughs> okay, and then we want to leave a little little bit of space here. It just changes depending on the size of your quartz. And then I'm just folding that down like this. Okay, and then we bring that wire up here. And I'm just going to kind of create a bit of a bend like this with my fingers. Okay, so we end up with something like this, just to straighten everything out. Okay, and then we want to create the eyelet um, at the top. So you can do this with two different tools. You can either use um, a bail maker like this. This is a six step bail maker, which I absolutely love. I only got it recently and I wish I'd never been without it. Um, or you've got your trusty round nose pliers, which you will get to a point that you'll have a particular point that you just automatically go to, um, to, so mine is around here to make your eyelets and depending on your piece as well, depends on what size of eyelet you might like. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it right to the far end of my round nose pliers and I'm just going to do a bit of a, bit of a push there. And that kind of is about 45 degree angle. Um, yeah, like this. And then with my bail maker, I'm just going to use the smallest one. I find that's a really nice size. And we're just going to go round like this. I'm really hoping this is staying on. And behind. Okay, can you see that? And that creates the eyelet there and we just just push that into shape a bit and then we just want to bring the wire around and give that a really nice twist and then I'm just going to bring this down the back whilst I've got this in my hand and then I'm going to release so again, you can use a hammer here, um, or you can use my little trick. It's not my trick, it's, it's a trick. There we go, and that just sturdies that right up. Um, okay, so this is what we've got at the back here. It's just really, really simple, like this. It's a simple shape, and it can be a bit fiddly, so it's not really attached to anything. So we're going to do the wrap part now. So we want to just very gently lift that slightly so that we've got room to manoeuvre. And we're going to come around the front here and wrap twice under there. And then come up, wrap round. And we can twist any way that feels good to you. And we're twisting and then what I'm going to do, so you could stop here and you could just keep twisting at the top and you can finish it. Um, I like to just come down, go under here and we just want to press that back into place 
like this. And then we come back up and twist around. And then again, what you can do is you can, you could twist up and scarf this a little and tuck your end in, or you can twist it down. And I would quite like to add a spiral to mine. So I'm just gonna, just gonna keep twisting and twisting, doing my spirals. I absolutely love me a spiral. Don't quite know how I got so obsessed with spirals, but here we go. Yeah, it happened. I would just keep going. And then I think here is the point that I'm gonna start doing a twirly whirl. And I think this is gonna be a bit long. So I'm just gonna cut a bit off. I'm gonna use my flush cutters if I can find them. Here we go. So when you're using your flush cutters, you see that you've got two different sides here. Um, you always want to use this flat side here um, because that will get you a flat cut. Whereas these have got angles on the inside and that can give you a point which could be a bit scratchy um, and not really your desired. So just do that and you notice I pinched the wire so it doesn't go flying. I've lost many a piece of wire and nearly um, knocked my eyeballs out <laughs> on the odd occasion. Okay, so we'll just do what we did at the beginning again. Take it at the end, give it a twist. So we've got a little curly cue there. Take it like this with your chin nose. Rip it. And we're twisting. And we're just keep twisting that in still quite a big one but never mind okay and then I'm just gonna bring that down okay Beautifully wrapped quartz. And then you could do that as a pendant, you could do that um, in combination with something from the top, you could do it as earrings, you have to find another quartz that's very similar. But there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I would really like it. If you got some value from this, please pop a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Those are all free ways for you to um, support me. And, you know, if you know somebody else who might enjoy this, then share it with them. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, hopefully I will see you here. Um, leave a comment and say hello. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, and you can find me over on Instagram as well at Mini Moon Arts. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.